Hi guys, this is Cindy with Pups and Crochet, and I am taping in my car while Robert is in to the store. Um, I wanted to thank you all for the beautiful comment you wrote on Munchkin's post from last night. And she will be 20 in February. She is still feisty. She is still doing her own thing. But when those spells hit, she just does circles and, you know. But uh, the year before, uh, last year, they gave her and they told us to enjoy that holiday with her, that set of holidays. But she's bypassed everything they said and she's still going. So thank you for the beautiful comments. And we got uh, results in for Robert's neck where they did the biopsy. And it is non-malignant, so no cancer. Yes, we're so happy about that. And they are calling us into the office on Friday, I guess, to go over what they're going to do with those knots in his neck. If it's an infection, it's they're going to tell us the rest. But right now, it's not cancer. And then we have to find out uh, about that uh, big mass in his lungs and see what that is. But so far, the test for the neck with all those knots is... No cancer. Thank God. So many prayers. I wanted to tell you guys that because uh, he's going to be going to bed right as soon as we get home. Um, we just, we're kind of driving around. We're talking over it. Maybe he could sleep now because we got that part figured out. At least it's not cancer. And if they have to do the surgery and go in there and get it, I don't care. Like I told him before, chicks love scars. <laughs> and I just figure it like this, you know. I've had 15 surgeries. Yeah. And I always wondered, why in the world do I keep coming back? What is my mission? What is the reason that every time I come back? I don't know. But I said, every scar I have is a roadmap to where I've been. I can tell a story about every scar I have. So now, Robert might get a scar, and it'd be a story he can tell. <laughs> he doesn't need to be upset, and I'm not getting upset, and I'm so happy and so excited. And I have no more tears to cry because we have cried, I have cried so much. And I know he's been worrying. So maybe we can actually sleep tonight. Or get a good nap in and not have to be so worried all the time because now at least we know it's not cancer there one step at a time right and monkey I put that video up so that people could see yes older dogs do need a home they need to be adopted and there are so many older ones that are left in the um, shelters and the rescues and stuff because nobody wants to put up put up the time to take care of them and why why not i mean they're just as precious as a puppy and they love you just the same so anyway that's what i wanted to tell you i wanted to give you the results and we're so excited and please remember I'm sending you hugs, puppy kisses, prayers if you need them. And please remember, adopt, don't shop. There are so many babies. And if you are you have the time in your home, get an older one. Take care of them because they can give you just as much love as a brand new puppy. <laughs> just maybe a little slower. <laughs> all right. I love you guys. Thank you all for being part of our Pups and Crochet family. And maybe now we can get back on track on what we've been doing. <laughs> okay. Bye.